Pharmacology SAQ9, Inhalational Anesthetic Agents A. Describe the physical chemical properties and side effects of halothane, which makes it non-ideal as an inhalational agent. 7 marks. Physical chemical properties of halothane that makes it non-ideal as an inhalational agent includes Instability of halothane to light Halothane decomposes to HCl, HBr, Cl and Br, and phosgene, which is a toxic gas. Halothane has few CF bonds, causing it to be less stable. From most stable to least stable, CF, CCl, and CBr bond. Halothane has CF, CCl, and CBr bonds, and this causes it to have a high metabolism of 20%. Comparatively, isoflurane has 5 CF bonds, making it very stable and less than 0.2% of isoflurane is metabolized. Halothane is corrosive to metal. The blood gas partition coefficient of halothane is 2.4. This leads to slow onset and offset of action with halothane, and high halothane solubility results in high metabolism. Halothane is supplied in liquid form with a preservative, thymol 0.01%, which can affect vaporizer function by accumulating in the wicks and causing the bimetallic strip to stick. Halothane dissolves into rubber as well, which may serve as a reservoir after the vaporizer has been turned off. Halothane then re-enters the fresh gas and prolongs anesthesia. Lastly, halothane is a greenhouse gas. Adverse effects of halothane that makes it non-ideal as an inhalational agent. For the CNS, halothane increases cerebral blood flow which can lead to increased morbidity via increasing intracranial pressure in susceptible patients, such as in those with closed head injury. There is CMRO2 and CBF uncoupling. Increase of CBF is most with halothane, followed by desflurane, isoflurane, and sevoflurane. There is loss of CBF autoregulation at high MAC. Halothane has no analgesic effects. CVS effects. Halothane increases the risk of arrhythmias such as bradycardia, nodal rhythm, ventricular ectopics, and bigeminy. Halothane causes hypotension by inducing myocardial depression, bradycardia, reduced cardiac output, and vasodilation. Hypotension may reduce blood flow to vital organs such as the liver, kidneys, coronary arteries, and uterus. Halothane blunts the baroreceptor reflex. Halothane sensitizes the myocardium to catecholamines and predisposes them to arrhythmias. Limit adrenaline dose to 1 mcg per kg every 30 minutes if it is administered with halothane. Respiratory system effects. Halothane abolishes pharyngeal, laryngeal, and cough reflexes, increasing the risk of aspiration unless the airway is secured. Halothane's respiratory depressant effects at the medullary respiratory center necessitates support with mechanical ventilation. There is increased RR, reduced tidal volume, and overall reduced minute ventilation with resulting hypercapnia. There is reduced ventilatory response to hypoxia and hypercapnia. Halothane also inhibits intercostal muscles. There is loss of chest wall stabilization and reduced tidal volume. Halothane inhibits hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction in a dose-dependent manner. This increases shunt and results in hypoxemia. Halothane also causes bronchodilation, and this may increase dead space ventilation and VQ mismatch. Halothane reduces mucociliary function. This may increase the risk of pneumonia. Gastrointestinal system. Halothane increases the risk of hepatitis due to immune reactions to trifluoroacetic acid, TFA, produced from oxidation of halothane. 15 to 20% of halothane is oxidized by hepatic CYP2E1 and 2A6 to TFA, chloride and bromide. TFA is an acyl halide. TFA causes hepatotoxicity by binding to liver proteins to form trifluoroacetylated liver protein. TFA acts as a hepton, which is a substance that by itself lacks antigenicity, but when combined with endogenous proteins, becomes antigenic. This hepton stimulates formation of anti-trifluoroacetylated protein antibodies and this induces T-cell mediated destruction of hepatocytes. Halothane forms the most amount of TFA amongst all inhalational anesthetics. 20% of patients develop mild hepatitis 
which is reversible and due to hepatic hypoperfusion. 1 in 10,000 to 1 in 30,000 develops fulminant centrilobular hepatic necrosis with a high mortality. Treatment is supportive. Hedothin causes post-op nausea vomiting. Genitourinary system. Halothin may increase postpartum hemorrhage by dose-dependent uterine relaxation effects. Reduced MAP due to halothin reduces renal blood flow, reduced GFR, urine output, and renal drug clearance. Drug interactions. Halothin reduces the clearance of some drugs due to hepatic blood flow reduction and reduction in renal blood flow. Dose-dependent enhancement of neuromuscular blocking agents occur. Halothin is a trigger for malignant hyperthermia. B. Briefly describe the second gas effect, Trimax. The second gas effect is the phenomenon by which increased alveolar concentration of one inhalational anesthetic agent is caused by uptake of a second inhalational agent. It describes the effect of concentration effect of one gas on the second gas. Rapid uptake of the first gas, for example, nitrous oxide, from alveoli, which is administered at a large fraction, reduces alveolar volume and concentrates the second gas, for example, sevoflurane, which is administered at a much smaller fraction than the first gas. Mechanism of the second gas effect The second gas effect occurs as a result of the concentration effect, which is the phenomenon where the rise in alveolar partial pressure of a gas increases disproportionately rapid when it is administered in high concentrations. Greater administered concentration leads to a faster rise in FAFI of that gas. This phenomenon is seen with nitrous oxide and xenon and consists of the concentrating effect and augmented gas inflow. In concentrating effect, increasing concentration of a rapidly absorbed gas markedly increases its eventual alveolar concentration beyond a linear increase. Augmented gas inflow occurs when absorption of a rapidly absorbed gas creates a void or vacuum in the alveoli, which then sucks in fresh gas to fill the void or vacuum. Further absorption of these newly recruited gas into the pulmonary circulation further increases alveolar concentration beyond those caused by the concentrating effect alone. Nitrous oxide is 35 times more soluble than nitrogen. The outward diffusion of nitrous oxide from the alveolus to the blood is much faster than the inward diffusion of nitrogen from the blood into the alveolus. Consequently, the alveolus shrinks in volume and the remaining nitrous oxide is concentrated within it. This smaller volume increases alveolar ventilation by drawing more gas into the alveolus from the airways in order to replenish the reduced volume. If there is another gas present in the alveolus, for example an inhalational anesthetic, then it too will be concentrated by the relative rapid uptake of nitrous oxide into the blood. High concentrations of nitrous oxide increases the FAFI ratio of nitrous oxide and for a volatile agent administered with nitrous oxide. For example, if sevoflurane is administered with nitrous oxide, the reduction in gas volume in the alveoli caused by absorption of nitrous oxide increases the alveolar concentration of sevoflurane thus augmenting the rate of equilibration with the inspired gas. Clinical uses of the second gas effect To increase the speed of onset of anesthesia during inhalational anesthesia by co-administration of nitrous oxide with volatile agents and to reduce the adverse effects of volatile anesthetics via dose reduction by co-administration with nitrous oxide while avoiding inadequate depth of anesthesia.